right, we are back with Ask the Mayor, Mayor Nancy Vaughn, City of Greensboro here, answering a lot of your questions. Um, this question, the first question on the board is, uh, Greensboro Police Department understaffed and what are we doing about it? So I would say yes they are just like just about every other police department in the country right now. We have given them a significant salary increase but not only do we look at the police officers we've invested in things like the behavioral health response initiative where um, clinical social workers go out to a call um, when it definitely is not a crime related call. We're offering take home cars. We're in our third year of take home cars. Um, we are also, we have unveiled the real time intelligence center. So we are with the, with the help of the police chief and, and his leadership team, we are investing in the police department in other ways besides just staff. Um, the good news is that the next academy is close to full and that there is a lot of interest on the academy after that. Gotcha, okay. So um, this is like two different people who are asking about, um, is there funding or should we get funding? Should we talk about funding for police hubs in high crime neighborhoods? So that is really a decision um, up to the police chief where he wants to put those hubs because they're expensive and they do kind of separate officers. A lot of officers do find a place in the community and that's where they write their reports. Actually, that's one thing that Sergeant Nix was doing. That was a place where he would go and sit and fill out reports. There are lots of police officers who do that throughout the city in high crime areas also. So while there might not be a particular hub, they certainly spend extra time in those areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, this next question, I don't know where this is coming from, but they're saying, when will Greensboro get a hockey team again? You know, I don't know. We get asked that an awful lot. Um, you know, there was some talk like the um, Swarm is a developmental league, that there is some talk about a possible hockey developmental league, and that could be something that we would be interested in, but there's nothing on the table. Gotcha. Okay. And remember, you can ask whatever question you want, 336-379-5775. This person is asking what community interventions are in place to reduce violence, because you had talked about some of those at the beginning. Yes. Um, so we have the Office of Community Safety, and um, they are non-sworn individuals who are working with our local nonprofits, the, um, the religious community. You know, as I've said, we can't police our way out of it. This is a problem that is a problem in our community and other communities. And at some point, we have to work within the community to make that change, to make that culture shift. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I made a comment like, where is the outrage with all of the issues that we've had going on? You don't see people marching down the street. You don't see people picketing. Um, we need to get the community involved mm -hmm. and just say that this is not okay. All right. um, let's talk about uh, Tanger Center Coliseum and all the other kinds of things because there is that whole thing about who's going to be at the helm. Yes, so um, the RFPs came in in the end of December. There is a group um, that is going to evaluate them um, to make a recommendation to city council. We will have some meetings about it in the next two weeks. It's possible that we could make a decision sometime in February, whether to go with a private management firm, which management firm, or to do something different. Mm -hmm. At any point, I'm, I'm th this is kind of an interesting question. I haven't heard any rumblings of this beforehand. Is there anything with Tanger employees like being switched over because they're asking, are Tanger employees still going to be paid when the new management comes? Um, I'm not exactly sure what that question means. I do know that um, some of the Coliseum employees, I think there were 100, were shifted over to roster employees. Um, so they were no longer being paid by ShowPros, who was the security company who hired them. They're being paid directly through the city. Gotcha. Okay. All right. What we're going to do next is we're going to talk all about loose sleep. That's right. So you can come and send in your question. We've got Griffin Hatchell with Solid Waste Collections joining us to talk about all the loose leaf pickup in Greensboro. That's coming up next.